Well, staying with weather, conditions prior to a hot and sunny day can make a big impact on whether or not we should be planning a dip. Nicolina Karufe, our colleague here at Sky News Weather, she has more on this. As the sun emerges following a dreary day, it may seem like the perfect opportunity to head out for a swim, though this is the last thing we should be doing. The water quality of our swimming spots can be impacted by heavy rainfall and runoff from overflowing storm water systems. Rainfall is the major driver of pollution to our waterways because it generates storm water and triggers discharges from the wastewater system. These conditions can lead to unsafe contaminants in our beaches, rivers, estuaries and lakes, the swimming spots we know and love. Based on research by Beachwatch New South Wales, ocean beaches and tidal pools generally perform better after storms. This is due to higher levels of flushing, which quickly disperses and dilutes pollution, allowing for faster recovery. In 2025, 95% of the 133 monitored ocean beaches in New South Wales scored between good and very good for water quality. Iconic surf spots like Maroubra and South Curl Curl, as well as harbourside favourites like Nielsen Park and Camp Cove, performing well during testing. So despite the immediate temptation, we're being encouraged to check water quality before swimming at beachwatch.newsouthwales.gov.au. Avoid swimming for one day after heavy rain at ocean beaches and for up to three days at estuaries, lakes and lagoons. Never swim in floodwaters or stormwater drains. Nicolina Karufe, Sky News Weather.